All right, hey guys, it's Dr. Eric. We're gonna take a look at this question and there's one teeny tiny trick I have to show you, okay? So it says the squirrel population in a forest has grown at a constant percent rate. The table shows the number of squirrels in the forest over a three year period. What is the constant percent rate? One extra thing that you need to know that's not on the formula sheet is the change divided by the original. So each one of these goes up by one. So how you're doing the change is you're doing 1100 minus your 1000, technically divided by one, that gives you 100. That's your numerator. Divided by your denominator, which is 1000, because that was the original starting point. So basically first, I kind of figured out the slope rate of change, but because it wants it as a percent, you're gonna take that number and you're just gonna do 100 divided by 1000. And then you get 0 0.1. Now, remember the way that we go from a decimal to a percent is we have to then multiply by 100, which gives us 10%. Now, to double check our work, Here's a hint. We're going to multiply each one of these by 1.1, standing for the one whole plus the 0.1% we just figured out. So watch, 1,000 times 1.1. If we did it correctly, we should get 1,100, and we did. Now we're going to take, I'm going to hit the answer button for 1,100, and I'm going to multiply that by 1.1. And what do I get? 1,210. And then I'm going to take that answer and I'm going to multiply that by um, 0.1 or 1.1. And what do I get? 1331. Okay, so the only little difference here is because it wants it as a percent, first you find that rate of change, but then you're dividing it. Like you're going up by one, you're dividing it by the original. All right, here we go. Actually, I changed my mind. Let me show you one more example. I could have done 1210 minus 1100 and then divided that by 1100 and it would still work. Watch. 1210 minus 1100 and then in the denominator I have 1100 because that's the original and you still get the same thing. So I did use different words than I should have. We're not finding the slope first. We're just finding, because each year goes up by one, we're just finding what's the change. The change is 1210 minus 1100 or 1100 minus 1000 or 1331 minus 1210. And then you're dividing it by whatever the other number is. There you go.